11 years ago, the TV documentary of the world's first time machine debuted on the Learning Channel. It reported to show a provisional patented design by Dr. Ronald Mallet from the University of Connecticut to be the world's first time machine in the However, the patent was allowed to expire. The machine idea has not found favor in the physics community and Mallet has never built a machine with lack of funding. But the film successfully created what is now known as the Mallet Myth. That he has built his time machine and is a true time travel scientist and expert. Nothing could be further from the truth. But it is a myth that some in the media are obsessed with perpetuating. Eleven years later, a man has emerged who has actually created his own device and given peer reviewed presentations on it. Because of the situation which I just described, whereby we are now facing the possibility of time travel as a reality. I prepared this document to conclusively and scientifically prove that the idea of a paradox is, to put it mildly, ridiculous. Mallet was offered the opportunity to work on the project but turned it down. And the media continues to promote the Mallet myth. But now this man stands alone as the most advanced expert in the field, the sole force behind the dawning of the age of time machine. My name is Marshall Barnes. I'm a research and development engineer. Dr. Who, man. I don't think all of us have to It is an old-fashioned race between myself and the world-famous Dr. Ronald Millett from the University of Connecticut. He was famous for having a design for something that could become a time machine. My problem. As I'm building this, I did build a machine that's approaching the first stage requirement of being a time machine. There's only two stages. Well, I attended the uh, presentation by Marshall Barnes and, uh, you know, was just fascinated by uh, not only his persona and his uh, passion for what he was discussing, but also it made me think back to the Wright brothers. We're now at the Kitty Hawk moment, the time travel. I have to say I agree and inspired with the Dr. Jemison the statements this morning breakfast about the need for radical ideas. And clearly I'm here to represent the radical contention, as you can tell. <laughs> um, I did put a, a paper online about this called The Gulag and the Fist of Unwisa, uh, which is basically the foundations of distortion travel. I was present for Marshall's presentation. The most intriguing aspect was what is, to my knowledge, an entirely new application of, of things that already exist. Symposiums like this, there's always a lot of, you know, sky blue proposals and, and what ifs. But rarest of all is someone who has already taken some data that indicates that novel applications of existing technologies can lead us into areas that no one ever dreamed about. If you care about it, real life. Instead of media hype, join the adventure. Because unlike the mallet myth, this time machine is real. You can also see what we're doing with it. That has something to do with the area of traversal wormholes. I'm not going to get into it very much anymore because I want you to show up. But uh, you know that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So I hope to see you all there if you're interested. In Warp Drive and Traversable Wormholes. Thank you very much. So it's very impressive because according to what they saw in the computer presentation, uh, the particle in some moment disappear, probably uh, the wormhole opening uh, some sky. It's the time of a new dawn. This project is going to change the world. The dawning of the age of time machines. See? <laughs> <laughs>